Time now for Sid 6-0. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. A pattern has developed with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I want to see if you can figure it out. Here's the 2019 Boston Bruins. They made it all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Their first round opponent that postseason, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Fast forward to last year. The Montreal Canadiens would make it all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Their first round opponent that postseason, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's move things into 2022 now. Here are the Tampa Bay Lightning, who this past Saturday defeated the New York Rangers, thus punching their ticket to yet another Stanley Cup final. And their first round opponent this postseason, wait for it, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Three of the last four teams who've played Toronto in the first round managed to get to a Stanley Cup final. So, Leaf fans, congratulations. Your seasons, for the most part, have been ended by really good teams that made deep playoff runs. That's a positive. Huh. Luke Fox of Sportsnet joining us. I needed, I needed reason for pause there. Okay, Luke, before we get into the Stanley Cup final, which starts Wednesday on Sportsnet, the theory among Leafs Nation, some parts of Leafs Nation, that look, when you're losing to great teams in the first round, you got to be a good team, right? Well, they are a good team, but I don't know how much of a consolation prize that is. Uh, you know, I, I do think there's something to be said about the Leafs having to, having to have to play in a really tough division, the Atlantic. It's kind of like the AL East of hockey these days. You know, you go up against the Bruins, the Lightning, the President's Trophy winning Panthers came from that division. So... They have had some tough competition in round one. I don't know if I'd throw the Montreal Canadiens in the Canadian division into that lot, though. Uh, you know, there is a bit, bit of bad luck, but still, you got to beat a team and, and win a round. So I don't know how much of a consolation it is to see the Lightning Listen, go deep. Uh, this entire thing on my end has been tongue in cheek. I don't know if people can figure that out. I will say, look, he, the, the Leafs caught Shea Weber and Carey Price by the end of that series, kind of on their last stand. They were, they, they, it was very difficult to beat them in the end, but I hear you. The Habs may not have been that great. All right, let, let's fast forward here. Speaking of great, Tampa Bay Lightning. They're looking for a third straight Stanley Cup championship. They take on the Colorado. It begins on Wednesday, game one of the Stanley Cup final. I don't know, unless you're in Colorado, or unless you're a huge Nathan McKinnon person or Kale McCarr, how are you not rooting for this greatness to continue, Luke? I'm, I'm all in on Tampa to pull this off. It is really something, Sid, the fact that we haven't seen a three-peat since the early 80s in the New York Islanders. And back then, there were only 21 teams in the league. Now there's 32. Back then, there was no hard salary cap. What the Tampa Bay Lightning have been able to do, they've done under a salary cap, but not just a salary cap, a flat cap due to the pandemic. It is incredible what they've done. Andre Vasilevsky, Victor Hedman, Steven Stamkos, you know, just willing the team to victory in game six there over the weekend. There, there is something remarkable. They have found out the recipe to win in the playoffs, and they keep executing time after time. And as much as you love the Colorado Avalanche story, and they've been playing phenomenal, 12-2 and two in these playoffs, they haven't run into a machine like the Tampa Bay Lightning yet, and it's going to be fantastic hockey. It will be, and in all due respect to the Oilers and the Rangers, they have very good hockey clubs. I think this is the final a lot of people really wanted to see. Let's, let's hash this out. Colorado's gotten a lot of love for a long time. Let's see how good they really are again. Wednesday night, game one of the Stanley Cup final on Sportsnet, and it has been a terrific postseason overall. Hopefully it continues. Luke, uh, it's never a dull moment in the Leafs offseason. I'm sure we'll hear something soon. We'll have you back. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you.